What's 100 a scam but we accepted it in our society? College bookstores. The price of printer ink. Service fees on tickets. Ticketmaster. Convenience fees on electronic payments. That it's considered normal to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a wedding ring bachelor party. TurboTax. They lobby the government to make it difficult to do taxes without their software. I lived in the UK and it took literally 15 minutes to do taxes on bad government software. Diamonds. Expensive engagement rings. Proof of consistent rent payment does not improve your eligibility for a mortgage. Paying hundreds of dollars per month for health insurance and then insurance not paying for anything until you've hit your deductible usually thousands of dollars per year and then after hitting your deductible insurance only paying for a certain percentage of your care until the end of the year until your deductible resets and you pay out of pocket all over again until you hit the deductible and even after hitting the deductible your insurance is fighting tooth and nail not to cover anything. Payday loans. Luxury skincare. Go to a dermatologist. Pay less. Get real results. Claw machines. Not as accepted as it was but the idea that alcohol is safer than other illegal or recently legalized substances. Political promises. Diamonds. Insert De Beers copypasta here. Unpaid lunches that extend your workday. Health insurance. MLMs. Reddit awards. Middlemen brokers eating up the profit and inflating the prices in pretty much every business. I don't think it's a scam, but the price is like $4.99, when it's clearly $5, but they know most of the people will tend to think subconsciously it's $4. Paying tie to your megachurch. Fair enough if it's a little country church, but fuck the big ones raking in millions. Scientology. Herbalife Herb. For-profit prisons. Multi-level marketing. Justice system. Crimes are punished unequally. Whether it's because of how laws are written, socioeconomic background, judicial discretion, DAs refusing to prosecute, or ECT. Tipping when you order at the counter and stand around waiting for it. On a lighter note, Santa Claus light skin tone Santa light skin tone Santa. Unlike other scams, I am 100 okay with this continuing. That we allow people to sell by my course to see how you can make money. It really should be a regulated situation. Student loans. Essential oils. American health insurance. Tipping. Five-day work week. Health insurance. They are all scumbags. Homeopathic medicine. It's fecking water. In any normal world this would be illegal. Self-cleaning ovens. I bought one two years ago. It's fucking filthy. Has cleaned itself once. Diamonds. Bottled water. America's tipping culture. The fact that businesses have put the burden on consumers to pay their employees livable wages is a joke. Paying for what the earth gives us for free. That the government works for the people. Lottery. Time shares. Real estate agents getting tens of thousands, if not more, for facilitating the sale of your home. 30 years ago when housing cost $100 $200,000 if not less is one thing, but with housing in many major metro areas garnering $500,000, we still pay the same 0.5 with no added value in markets where homes often sell themselves. Being a salaried employee. Most don't get paid for overtime. Valentine's Day. Ticketmaster. 
College bookstores. Churches not paying taxes. Tipping, it used to just be a kind gesture for the service, but now it's expected and dependent for the worker's payment. America's tax return system. Insurance companies. You pay them every month, but if there's an accident, rates can go up. Car dealerships. Trickle-down economics. Ponzi schemes, MLMs. The car industry. Crystals. Paying for a doctor but seeing a nurse practitioner. Credit scores. Our society is the scam. Car dealers. Literally middlemen for car companies. Why not have it ordered from a website and delivered to your house? Arbitration clauses in almost every service provide a contract. Tricking you into giving up your access to the court system. Nobody talks about it, but they should. The idea that we need to either work or starve while the minimum wage isn't enough to live on. Homeopathy. Student loans in North America. It's literally a poor people tax. Those that come from money and have money often have their post-secondary paid for. Those that don't have to borrow at credit card interest rates. Other countries have figured it out. It's not in the interest of the student to fix this, not when a student debt is worth their lifetime in payments. Life coaches. The IRS already does your taxes for you, but you still got to file them yourself and it's difficult to navigate doing that for free. Also it's illegal to not do it. Not including the sales tax on an item's packaging. Diamonds wedding rings every kiss begins with K, right? Caskets most funeral services IMO. They try to upsell you so much it feels so wrong, bottled water, coke, etc. Credit cards. The 28th April targeting financially illiterate, backed by congresses. SIM activation fees. Low-fat products. 